What's up guys and welcome to my review for A Quiet Place Part 2. This is a non-spoiler review, so don't worry, I will not be giving away any spoilers for the movie, just my basic thoughts for the film about the plot, the execution, the story, and all that good stuff. Sorry about my voice if you're watching this and you're wondering why I sound so odd. I do have a cold, severe sinus cold. My head is sort of pounding at the moment. Uh, really severe sinus pressures. Um, this is not very comfortable. So I went down and I got some Pedialyte, uh, which is um, advanced hydration, rehydration, uh, with electrolyte solution. So uh, that's what I'm going to drink here. So wish me luck. And no, the video is not sponsored by Pedialyte. But regardless, let's get started talking about A Quiet Place Part 2. This movie takes place immediately after the first film, where, if you haven't seen it, terrific film, wonderful suspense thriller, very well written and acted. The first movie is smart and clever. You go into The Quiet Place Part 2 and you expect the film to be just as smart and just as clever. But what do you get without... Spoilers, the basic plot of this film is the Abbott family, led by Emily Blunt, is uh, on the run looking for a new shelter, a new place to potentially rest at and call home. At the same time, uh, they want to see if there's anything that can be done to start to put an end to this monster mayhem and make things a little better in this universe. Uh, Killian Murphy is also introduced as a character who's also been living in hiding and silence for a very long time. Uh, and that's really all I can say without getting into ag's actual plot spoilers. Um, you could probably imagine certain things that are going to take place, but look, at the end of the day, what this movie is, is it, it feels exactly the same as the first movie. Uh, the, the tone of the film feels exactly the same, but what this is missing, what this film is missing to me is the heart that that first movie had. The first movie had such a heart, uh, with John Krasinski's character and the daughter played by Millicent Simmons, brilliantly played by Millicent Simmons, and she is phenomenal in this film as well. And I know she's a deaf actress, but you want to know what? She is one of the most talented working younger actresses that I've seen to date. So uh, I'm really looking to for forward to see what she can do in the future. Hopefully other films pick her up because I think she's uh, very talented. And all the other actors are talented as well. But the heart and soul of that first movie is, is what's really missing here. In this film, you get a, a basic uh, mission, I guess you could say. It, it, it sort of feels like, you know, I'm sure other people have said this and it's the easy thing to say, but it's kind of like, the last of us type thing to where you have a mission to where in the last of us game, the first one, anyway, you had a mission to where Joel had to get Ellie to this hospital to have her create the antidote to save the, the zombies and all that. So this movie has a similar story to that, uh, in a way without spoiling anything, I can make the comparison there. Um, and it is very uh, basic, that story, and it's just kind of, okay, we have to get to one place to another. And as we go along, there's going to be maybe your, your, your suspense, 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 and, and you start to sort of see the template of the film unravel before your eyes, and you kind of know what to expect. When in that first movie, it was the smartness and the cleverness that you had to rely on at the same time. It's like, okay, you got all this suspenseful stuff, but at the same time, you know, you, you, you get the, the, the rocket ship with the, with the fireworks going off and uh, with the red s lights that are like danger lights, and they have all these lights set up if there's a problem, uh, which I all, all th thought was very smart in that first movie. And this film doesn't really have any of that smartness or cleverness. It just has some of that same execution. And I wouldn't necessarily say it gets tired. I would say it's entertaining. But by the time the film ends, and it, it cuts to black, and you f it, it almost feels like it's a TV se series ending, and you're going to get the next episode next week to see what happens. It doesn't feel like a complete conclusion, but for what this film went out to do, I mean, it, it does 
abruptly conclude the story that the film wanted to do, I suppose you can say, without spoiling anything. But it does kind of leave you wanting more, uh, even if that's not a great thing. Because by the end of the movie, you should feel kind of satisfied at the same time, where you feel satisfied, but maybe not in the right ways. Uh, it's hard for me to explain without really spoiling anything, but I don't like this movie as much as the first movie. I think the first one is much more effective. The heart and soul is beating in that first film, where this film, it's just kind of taking place after some of the real emotional stuff happens in the first movie, and we're just kind of, uh, getting some of that same execution with the monsters, and you don't really learn much more about them. The Killian Murphy thing is cool, but where does it really go? I think he was just there to... Uh, serve as another character that would fill in for John Krasinski. You know, I guess. I don't know. Without spoiling anything, I'm going to give the movie 4 out of 5. I did enjoy it, and I do plan to see it again. Uh, you know, it is just a, it's a fun, entertaining film, and I just don't think it's as smart or clever as the first one, quite frankly. Um, but guys, comment your thoughts down below. Did you see A Quiet, Quiet Place Part 2? What did you think about the movie? Uh, if you did see it, hey, Leave your thoughts down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a whole bunch more content coming on the channel. Uh, reviews, all this sort of stuff coming up. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, as I take my first sip of Pedialyte, I want to say thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, if you see the film, I hope you enjoy it. Maybe a little more than I... I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. I'm just saying I didn't like it as much as the first one. But it is still a, a fine little movie. So, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, over and out.